yo 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 ladies and gentlemen mc guy daiko is back <laughs> most of you don't even remember mc guy daiko okay 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 but my friends so let's say a lot of you asked me to do a dribbling tutorial in a real football 24 even when i think i'm not the best dribbler in the game there are many better dribblers but i think i'm kind of average maybe a little bit above average i don't know i can say you can say i can judge myself you can judge me you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna do this dribbling tutorial for you. At least I will give you the tips and the things I already know. Maybe I give you some combination what I use. And that's basically all. I will try to do it as shorter as possible, you know, because long videos, long tutorials are, are not interesting. But I will try to explain it as best as possible. Too long intro. Let's go for a tutorial. <laughs> all right so if you want to get better in dribble in this game you need to understand three things first thing is reach so it's basically what is reach how can i play around the reach the second thing what you need to understand is practice makes per perfect because you need to really develop your muscle memory to don't fail the dribbles in the game you don't need to practice in practice arena i recommend that but you don't need to you can play you can try things there and in time you will develop the muscle memory you know but don't expect to be good at anything if you don't practice it and the third thing you need to understand are basically sprint dribbles and no sprint dribbles because that is big difference because sprint dribbles are mostly heavy touch like this and when it is uh, only one dribble then it's short you know and with short you have a lot of opportunities to combine it you know <laughs> all right so reach we all know reach we know how frustrating it is and and we know it's kind of stupid but what is basically a reach reach is here because of terrible roblox netcode what is netcode is really hard to explain i will leave you video in the description what really explains the reach kind of in simple way but really good okay but i can explain you how the reach works in the game the best on one video so i made this clip here just for purpose of this video so all right editor heiko's again here because i found out i said it incorrectly because it's really hard to explain but i will show you here in the paint <laughs> okay so this is you okay this beautiful pixelized guy is you this is the ball on your screen all right this is the opponent behind you this is your screen all right okay so your screen all right you are far away from them he is behind you but what they see on their screen is you you they see you in the past okay so this is their screen so he is still here good recreation right <laughs> but you on their screen are are or is is you are you are so you are here on their screen because of the milliseconds difference so they see you and they see the ball in the past so this is your screen you're far away on their screen you and the ball are in the past so they touch it okay they don't have big foods on their screen they don't see the ball far away from them and they touch it with a, like some big touch big foot no on their screen they see you in front of you so it means that when you do some dribble you already are far away from him but on his scre screen you are probably just doing that dribble it depends on the ping because how much ms you have how much they have and so it combines blah 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 hard to explain you will see in this clip so i'm running with the ball i do here wait, 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 here drag back and dribble lmb back like basically i move forward but you need to be looking on this guy I do drag back and I run forward. Did you see? I was already running forward and he just turned around. Okay, once again. I'm running forward and he just turned around. So he just saw me performing that dribble when I was already on my screen running away. That's why they reach you even when you are far from, from them. Because they on their screen, they see the ball in the past. They see you in the past. And on their screen, they saw that you 
that they hit the ball, okay? So that's why you see reach. It's not like they see on their screen that they have big touches. No, they see totally normally like you, but for them, you are in the past, okay? Hard to explain, I hope you understand. Once again, all right? So I'm running forward, drag back, forward, and he just turned around now, and I'm already, and I'm already, he just turned around now, and I'm already running forward, you see? That's basically how the reach works and you need to play around it. You don't need to risk things close to them because when you are close to them, then you already are running away, but they see you straight in front of their faces and then they simply touch the ball and steal the ball from you. So if you want to play around the reach, try to be as far as possible from them. Try to dribble away from them so they can reach it even in the past. That's how you play around the reach. I hope you understand that, if not, anybody can explain it better in the comments who has better English. Okay, I will appreciate that. Alright, I said second thing will be practice makes perfect, but no, second thing will be sprint and no sprint dribbles, so you understand that. So, with sprint you see I have really heavy touches, you know, I touch the ball and it goes far away from me. With no, no sprinting I have really small touches and the ball don't go so far away. So I can basically follow the ball and do combos easily. And you can still combine it. Like for, for example, you can do, let's say, back heel to back heel. You can do it like this and the ball goes far away. Or you can do it like this when you do first heel with sprint and second heel without sprint. Uh, back heel is skills X, okay? So I go like this and you see the ball is on me so I can combine it to the next move you see easy easy like that so you need to learn when you want to do uh, heavy touches and when you want to do short dribbles without sprint short dribbles are basically for the combos Okay, not the best combos, but that was just, you know, improvisation. The third thing I said is practice makes perfect. So you need to find out some combos, what you want to do, and practice, or combos, or any dribbles, and practice them. So you can do it in the game and try to find out what works and what doesn't, or you can do it here and learn your muscle memory first, and then you can play around it in actual match. Uh, editor Heiko is here, I just forgot to say that what is really good is to observe better players, better dribbles, what they do and try to replicate them, try to do the same, you can do, you can try to do it first in the practice arena to find out what they are actually doing and then you can try it in actual matches, how to do it in actual match, when there is a reach, when there somebody is trying to take you and slowly develop the muscle memory, you just don't have to get frustrated when it doesn't work for the first time. You need to find out the proper timing, the proper distance, and so and so. It's really hard, it's inconsistent, but that's what it is with the Roblox servers. So first you can start with basic dribbles like just like this, just to the side. Just to find out how it works, you can do only heavy touches, it's really good in public though. Then, you can start to do some combos, for example, easy combo like Elastico, so you do like this. I don't know how I pressed out with it, but you need to find out the proper camera movement and the timing. You need to be really fast while you sprint, because if you are not, you see, you won't touch the ball second time because it's heavy touch, so you need to be really fast and I don't have the keyboard, give me, give me a second. So this is my keyboard overlay so you can see what I'm doing. If you want to do combos in sprint, you need to be fast. Like for example here with Elastico, you, you saw how fast I press those buttons, you see? Because when I do it slower, I don't get the second touch. You need to have proper camera movement because if you go too far away, you won't touch the ball. If you will go, wait, I felt it. <laughs> if you won't go too far away, you will miss the ball. So you need to have like 45 degrees angle, maybe a little bit less, and do it far. And then you do Elastico. Then you can combine it with drag back, for example. So you go RTE, and you have a Elastico to drag back. 
and then you can use dribble LM no dribble skills LMB to do heavy touch far away or if you want to use sprint then short touch and you can continue with your combo which is pretty advanced so for example I go RTE and then dribble LMB but I can go even to the side RTE and to side you see or I can go RTE oh my god and short touch and I can continue so when you sprint you need to have fast camera movement and you need to press it, press it fast when you don't sprint it's not so necessary because you have the time not like a lot of time but you have some time to re react you know it doesn't need to be fast that's what you need to understand all right now i will give you combos what you can practice or dribbles you can practice we will start with the simpler one and that's basically air chop okay you you chop the ball in the air so you need to do, do skills i to skills r or t to basically run towards the ball jump and then in the air you need to do a chop okay and to other size too the second thing is sombrero it's pretty simple i think most of you know that it's just drag back and skills wide so basically drag back and flick up not so hard the next dribble will be drag back to flick up to this side so it's not so hard you basically just drag the belt drag the ball back and to flick up to the side i think it's originally on dribble and i have it on c and then you can have a basically air dribble to the side but it's slow for me it's better to do this okay next combo is elastico but i showed you that already next dribble is elastico to drag back you saw that too elastico drag back to dribble you saw that too and good combo and good or good dribble and you definitely underrate it is a drag back to basic dribble forward with heavy touch you saw that on that clip and they basically will start to run away from you and you have all the time of your life to run forward to run away from them then you can do back heel to back heel i show you that but it's skills x to skill z so basically like this you see or you can do it with short attach and combine it then you have a lot of short dribbles combos what are kind of cool not so necessary i would say but it looks really good like you can do i'll be calling it by letters okay so r t x c and you know you know what i mean so you can go for example r t e dribble l m b you see you can go you can even wait a bit and do a shorter dribble l m b so you go r t e wait i need to do it a little bit faster and then you see it's even shorter dribble and wait and click what is really op move and i probably had to start with it is it's basically skills e to skills lmb but to decide so you go like this wait and click wait and click wait and wait and click 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 you need to wait a lot because if you don't then it's heavy touch i don't know why but it's heavy touch and when you wait a little bit more it's less heavy touch it's getting shorter you know but it's still not in front of your face but when you wait until the drag back animation is finished and then click it's really short and it allows you to combine it you can do a little bit heavier touch but you need to sprint then you need to sprint after lmb so basically like this you go to the ball you see but you need to sprint instantly after that and then you can for example just pick up pick up pick up pick up pick up Flick up and then it's really hard for them to touch the ball. Then you can out of nowhere chop it, wait and run there. Then you can go flick up to side, again a little bit heavy touch so I can right, run straight to ball. You can do drag backs to chop with sprint so you do heavy touch. Again you see he's coming for me and I outplayed him like this and again to the side. And you can play like this in the practice arena. With it, you can usually develop the feeling for the ball, develop your muscle memory. So you can do some flows, try to do what works, what doesn't. For example, if you do fast drag back to side, it's not so useful because the ball ends up not in a good angle. But when you wait and do it, then you can do like almost a 180. You see, I need to wait and now. I need to wait and now. 
So I recommend you to practice to play with the ball here. So that's basically all for the dribbling. It's not so hard, but you need to practice. You can maybe find out some different combos, use different combos. It's up to you. You need to find out what really fits you. Okay, you wanted this. Let me know if you liked it, if you want some different tutorials, I can maybe do a shooting tutorial or passing tutorial or some overall tutorial, what I understand if you like it. And that's basically all for this video, so if you enjoyed it, every like really support me, every comment really support me, so I will be really, really grateful for that. So my friends, this is all, have a nice day, you're awesome, and bye my friends.